Hey, how's it going? This is Oddball Gloves here. I'm doing a review on my 44 Pro Signature Series. So, I got this in all tan with yellow embroidery. Yellow stitching, yellow embroidery on the side. Royal blue home plate with yellow in the middle, 13, my number. Uh, tan everything with white welting. I really wanted to go for a you know, kind of like 1980s look with it. And I think I definitely captured that. The model is a 574, which is 44's version of the Pro 200, I believe. I've personally never used a Pro 200. I've been told it has a deep pocket, and this thing certainly does. I um I spread out the fingers quite a bit, so it definitely contributes to the deep pocket. However, naturally, it definitely came with a deep pocket. Um, features a finger hood, which I'm really excited about because the between Wilson and Rawlings, the only stock glove that has a finger hood is the Max Scherzer Pro Preferred, which is three hundred and sixty dollars. This thing costs me one seventy. Um, they know I, they go for one eighty five. I got mine on sale, but I got this for one seventy, and for the for the price, this is a really nice glove. It's it's definitely up there with A2000 Heart of the Hide. Um, well, I've used... I, I guess I shouldn't say Heart of the Hide because I haven't used one. Um, I've used Friends Heart of the Hides, but... I've personally owned A2Ks, A2000s, some Louisville Sluggers, uh, some Mizunos. I've used a lot of gloves. Uh, Shoeless Joe, I've used those as my gamer before this. And this leather definitely compares with all of them. The The lining is really nice. It's not quite formed in my hand yet, but it's definitely getting there. Um, I've had this for about a month. And it took me about two and a half weeks to break in, just because I break in gloves pretty fast. I could easily foresee someone taking more than a month to break this in quite, or, you know, to their liking. However, I break mine in pretty quick. I don't use oil. I don't steam gloves, which I definitely don't recommend. Never steam a glove, especially a 44, because the the colors will blend. Um, I just use a lot of a lot of mallet work, a lot of playing catch. One thing that I do, a lot of you guys on my team cringe about this, but one thing I do is I turn the glove inside out, like also does in that Wilson break in video. Leave it there for about three minutes and then flip it back and just, what am I trying to say? Just breaking this little palm area right here for whatever reason really helps break in the glove. A lot of guys focus just on the heel here and this is definitely important because this is how the glove is going to close. However, it's important to loosen up all the leather in that area. The lace quality is definitely, I'd say better than than most Wilsons. I used an A2K for four years and I never had any problem with it. You know, people are always complaining about Wilson lace. I, I personally never had a problem with it. This glove is definitely on par with that lace. One thing, one slight negative I should say, it's not, it's nothing with the glove per se, but I, I wanted a, a six finger trapeze, which is different than this T-Web. Six finger trapeze is a glove, it's a web that's connected to this leather, right? So it just continues up instead of being a separate piece of leather. Now I wanted a six finger trapeze. Um, I wanted I wanted to make a glove that looked really similar to Ozzy Smith's just because I think that's one of the coolest gloves that's ever been made, really. And they cannot make a six finger web on a 12 inch currently. Which is, you know, a little disappointing. They they said they could make it on a 12 and 3 fourths, which is far too big for a pitcher. That being said, I mean, this is definitely the the most custom, most custom brand out there. You know, you can, there's way more customizable options than any other brand. Just in their standard 44 model, you can, you can get every one of these pieces of leather a different color. You, I've seen some people make these, make the 44, like, two different colors. Uh, you can, They do custom webs quite a lot. They do, you know, BW38. They do a lot of Nike webs. 
And um, so there's so many customizable options. The one I wanted just didn't have, just happened to not be one of them. It's a little disappointing, but I've always used T-Webs and I, I don't foresee myself using anything besides a six finger trapeze or a T-Web just because I like the break in on these so much. It's lighter than a, like a basket or a two piece. I'm a pitcher, so it's it's lighter than one of those because there's not quite as much leather to break in, but it still hides the ball well enough. And in my opinion, just looks really cool. I just like the way T-Webs look. So I think that'll do it for this first video. Uh, let me know if there's anything else you want me to do, discuss about the glove. And uh, thanks for watching.